to the Barton Edition. My name is Taylor Baker and I'll be your host today. Today we have Professor Mark Peterson with us, the Director of Music here at Barton, and he's going to share with us a little bit about his upcoming concert. Mr. Peterson, thanks for joining us again on the show. All right, thank you Taylor. It's great to be back here. Okay, can you tell us like about what Love the Symph Symphony is going to be about? <laughs> yes, well we do every year on <laughs> Valentine's night, February 14th, we have our gala performance, Love the Symphony. And it's a um, whole evening of entertainment and food and wine. It's really a good time. Um, we hold it in the Wilson Gym, and they de um, decorate the gym in an absolutely beautiful way. At uh, 6.30, they have a wine and cheese reception, and then at 7 o'clock, we have a full symphony concert followed after that by a gourmet buffet dinner. Okay, during the concert, do you have like any guests that are going to be performing? Or? Oh, you mean about the music in the concert? Yeah. Yes, it's a very <laughs> exciting program we have this year. Our very special guest is Mr. Dan Calloway, and he's a um, tenor singer from North Carolina. He teaches at Elon University, and um, he's an amazing vocalist. He sings really wonderful music theater and we've designed a program around his particular abilities. Mm -hmm. Like during the concert is it going to be the I mean I know you have a symphony here at Barton that you're like in charge of it that's that's what it is correct? Yes in fact okay. it's that and on steroids it's a, the, our largest orchestra will have about 55 players okay. on the stage um, for this performance. Okay how did you decide to pick that particular um, musician to come in? Yeah. Well, a year ago, we did a concert version of Richard Rogers' Carousel, and we had multiple performances in Raleigh, and then we brought the whole show to the Boykin Center here in Wilson and had a, a performance here for our Wilson audience. And Mr. Calloway was the lead, male lead in that show. He played Billy Bigelow in um, Carousel, and that was so successful I asked him to do, um, come back and perform an entire concert with us. So we put our heads together and we picked out a bunch of songs, um, some very exciting repertoire um, from shows like uh, Chess and The Secret Garden and Phantom of the Opera and other things. It will be a very, a very sweet program. So you said this was um, like, I don't even know if I'm saying this correct, gala themed? Like yeah, well, what? gala, that means it's a it's more than just a concert. It's like a, a festival, and it's um, it's a ticketed event. The, the tickets cost $60 per person, oh, wow. and it's the way the public um, can have a good time and support all the things the orchestra mm -hmm. does the whole year. So through. is there like a certain way that people are supposed to dress when they go to this? Well, the, people come in all manner of dress. Some people take the opportunity to um, um, come in formal wear. It's a lot mm -hmm. like the, the Boston Pops atmosphere. So like what type of music are you guys going to be performing? At? Well, because of Mr. Calloway, it's mostly musical theater. And, yeah, okay. um, and so there's these, uh, there are large symphonic arrangements. Um, <laughs> and a few pieces specifically for the orchestra. I don't want to give too much away because there are going to be a few surprises. So you said this event takes place yearly? Yes, okay. always on February 14th. Okay. Do you know how long this has been going on? Or Well, it's certainly been going on, uh, on since I've been here. This mm -hmm. will be my 16th Love the Symphony, mm -hmm. and I think they had been doing it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was at the Wilson Country Club, Oh, okay. But then the event just grew, grew so large, we had to turn away um, paying customers. Mm -hmm. So um, we moved it to the gym and never looked back. Are you normally the one that um, has to organize everything, or do you have people that help you to get the event together? Right. For a big event like this, is I have a lot of support, especially from the orchestra board of directors. But likewise from Barton College and the Aramark facilities, they do a a wonderful job helping us set up this you know very large complicated production. Okay. What would you say is like the purpose of this event? Like why why do you <coughs> The purpose of the event um, well I suppose it, it's to support the orchestra. This is um, one of the uh, 
major ways we raise our funds to keep the orchestra going throughout the year. Uh, and the other purpose is to present quality music in an exciting format and bring mm -hmm. the public together and have a good time with you know music and food and fun. Like, how do you feel about the event? Like, are you excited or? Well, I'm always <laughs> excited about these concerts. You know, I plan these events years in advance and I um, select the repertoire very carefully and it's all in my imagination. And it's uh, an amazing thing to see it realized, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I'm sort of used to it too after 16 years. So you said this is in the where now? The Wilson Gym? The Wilson Gym, yes. Tickets are how much? $60. $60. Okay. Where do they get their tickets? Do they get them at the door or do you have to? They, they could call the switchboard and ask for the, um, the for Luann Clark. Luann Clark. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they can't get them at the door. They have to get them before. Right. We have to have an I think, exact count. I think I saw where there was a deadline or something that people were supposed to yes. get their tickets. We, we do have a deadline. It's usually about a week before the event. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Like, what would you say to people <laughs> to, like, encourage them to come? Uh, to well, talk to someone that's been in the past. So many of our people come year after year, and th they always seem to be really pleased with the entire atmosphere, and it's a good way to take your sweetie out yeah. on Valentine's <laughs> Day. Yeah, that'd be a nice reason. Um, I can't think of anything. Well, else. we have a concert in <laughs> April you might want to ask me about. Okay, yeah, you can talk about that if you want. Well, upcoming events in April, on <laughs> April 30th in the Kennedy Theater, I have another orchestra concert when the um, orchestra will welcome a, a wonderful concert pianist, Mr. Solomon Eichner, um, to our stage, and he'll perform a Liszt concerto. But I'm sure we'll have more on that with another interview. Uh -huh. Yeah, most likely. Oh, okay. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to add or about this concert? I feel like I feel like I'm missing something. No, I'm, you've covered everything. You were so. a wonderful host, and um, <laughs> I think that we've covered the topic. Okay. And it's always an honor and a pleasure to be here at WEDP. All right. Well, thank you, and hopefully you'll come back again soon. All right, to our viewers, we hope you enjoyed um, what Mr. Peterson was saying about coming out to the concert. We hope that you will come out to the Books and Gym and that you will enjoy the concert bring someone that you love and care about because it'll be on valentine's day and it'll be a good way to show your appreciation to both barton college and your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend sweetie. <laughs> yes your sweetie um well we thank you for watching i'm taylor baker and i hope to see you next time on the barton edition